Hi, I spent a little bit too much money. This picture of a flower was $358. This lamp was $49.99. This couch took $1,900 of my hard-earned savings. Now, I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's quite the opposite, actually. My hope is that at the end of this video, maybe you want to start thrifting more, or uh, at least question the constant cycle of the accumulation of stuff that we seem to be on. Or maybe that's too much to hope for from a 10 minute video about reviewing furniture. You see, we bought a vacation house to rent out on Airbnb and we didn't have much time and wanted to find the optimal correlation between quality and cost. So we spent a whole lot of cash at article.com. I'm getting warm from all this running around. Here's a review of everything I bought and why I regret spending over $20,000. Stick around for the final rating. Let's start by talking about this couch. We have the same one here at home, which is why we bought it for the rental. I guess the short story is that I love it at home. It's so comfy, it's great. The only complaint I would have is that, um, you know, and this is no fault of the couch, but we have the couch right in front of the window and it is sun bleaching a little bit. I don't know if you can see the difference there. Just gotta live with that, I guess. The one at the rental is looking a little saggy and sad though. Every time I come to visit, I try to fluff them up a little bit and you know, rearrange it. But they're just uh, falling down a little bit and I don't know, it's not holding up super well under the high stress of an Airbnb. The reason I'm here at the rental today is because a shipping company screwed up. We've had a lot of drama with these spinning chairs from Article and they're now discontinued, which makes sense because the bearing on the base here has broken like three times now. They're pretty cool, the fabric's nice, I love the color, they're durable, they're fun to spin in. But we've had guests a couple times apologize for breaking them or not even telling us that they broke them and then we have to spend the time trying to figure out what to do to fix it. Article has mostly been really great to get these replaced though. They're very nice and responsive over email. They sent a new base once, which was really nice, but once they realized it was bad enough to discontinue the chair altogether, they offered to replace it with another chair, which is great. But somewhere along the way, there was some miscommunication and I had to make the three hour round trip drive to the Airbnb in order to meet the shipping company here and exchange the new chair for the old one. Okay, we have a delivery here, new chair coming in. First impressions. Not bad. The wood is great. You know, it's a nice oak chair. Very comfortable. A little stiff, maybe a little too stiff. Here's a critique I have. The end of the arms here are very sharp on the corners. That's not super pleasant to hold on to. Now these are definitely my favorite thing at Article so far. The Senny chair, these are like $550, I think. Yeah, $549. And they're just so comfortable, oh my gosh. Like kind of a rougher material, but I love it for a couch slash chair. Best purchase at Article so far. I really love this house. We bought it about a year ago, and uh, whoever lived here was obsessed with storage. I mean, look at these, like, lockers and, uh, I don't know, shoe cabinets, I guess? This is a very cool space. We don't really use it that much because we don't have our personal stuff here since it's a uh, Airbnb. Here's a, a stairway down to the garage. We've locked this so that we can put supplies down there. More storage back here. We started filling it with games, but don't have too many yet. And then this is where you come into the, the living room. Nice big space. There was a cabinet right here and with a countertop, and I took that out in order to open this up a little bit more. Here's a bathroom on the lower level, and then one bedroom. It's pretty nice. We did do a little bit of thrifting. This is from a friend of mine that I met on Instagram, Stuff in Seattle. And then uh, we only ended up spending like $10,000 at Article. The rest of it went to mattresses and dressers and um, uh, the TV. We got this mural done by a friend of mine. This is uh, Jen Vickers. You should definitely check her work out. She's done a number of murals around Seattle and I think they're just lovely. This is our little game corner here. This is another article table. Um, you know, just using it as like puzzle table. 
and this was like $6.49 and you know it's nice. We have a Samsung frame and some art up there. Here's the kitchen. It's all very nice. Uh, we've got like granite countertops, maple cabinets. It's a little bit, um, I don't know, what would this be? Like 1999 styled. You know, that's when granite was really a hit, but it's all high quality. So, um, really like it. Here's where I'm setting up some camera gear. I've got the script here. I am struggling with this video a little bit because uh, for the most part, I really like the article furniture. Kendall has a different opinion. I like this article couch in our home. Uh, it's the same one we have at Whidbey. I think it looks nice. We've had this for two years. It's held up great. The one at Whidbey does not look good. You know, Airbnb guests just not caring for things the way we do. Probably dogs are on there. There's probably kids jumping. The other furniture, you know, I thought it was, I wasn't wowed, but I'm not disappointed. I'm sort of meh about it. We did have the chair incident. I thought a few pieces were overpriced, like that media cabinet. I can't believe we spent $900 on that. But I will also say the delivery was a little bit difficult. If you're here in Seattle, no big deal. You'll probably get it within a few weeks. But we were having items delivered to Whidbey Island and that was really a whole thing and there was no flexibility. Celie's working on her Halloween costume right now. She's gonna be a lion. This is the base. This table here, I think it was, um, let's see, $1,500. And it extends, it seats a whole bunch of people. My only complaint is that I think it's like a veneer here and it feels a little plasticky, but it's very heavy and serves its purpose as a table very well. We didn't do a whole lot to this house. We redid all of the floors and um, I don't know, got rid of storage. This is my favorite bedroom. Style-wise, I like this cabinet here. I did keep that. Looks very cool. Got a nice laundry room here. And then bedroom here. Um, you know, it's just a bedroom. This is kind of a funny feature here. Very 1980s, the glass block opening up into the bedrooms. I would call this the primary suite, I suppose because there is a bathroom here, but all of the bedrooms up here share this bathroom. There is a slider to a, a deck here with a really nice view. So I guess regret might not be quite the right word. It's more that I don't like spending money, I guess what it boils down to, because I don't regret this furniture. It's very nice and I'm a fan of the, um, you know, quality to price point ratio that article offers. I feel like it fits right between Ikea and West Elm. You know, it's that nice medium price point. It's more that I regret not having the opportunity to look for used furniture, recycle things, and, um, you know, be a better sustainable person. I mean, this, um, uh, like media console thing that we have under the TV. It's very nice. I like it. It's a, a fairly reasonable $8.99, maybe a little expensive, but uh, you know, it's solid oak piece of furniture. It's pretty, it's durable, it'll probably last forever, but I could have spent that money supporting, say, a small local music school. My body lies over the Maybe that's too random of a segue, but I wanted the opportunity to pitch supporting local nonprofits while also talking about consumerism. I'm at Music Center of the Northwest right now filming a short little segment about their early childhood music program. Kendall and I are sponsoring this year's fundraising gala, and this is also where Kendall had her first job in Seattle, and we've always been really involved in what's going on here. I think it's important to find your local nonprofit and do whatever you can to support them, either through time money or just spreading the word because organizations like these are what give life and support to a city. Yeah, 
in response to writing this video, I decided, oh, we should do some thrifting. Uh, this is one of my failed thrifting attempts. I actually found this on the side of the road and the front wheels fell off and I tried to fix it and buy some casters and um, it's just very sad. We also went to Ballard Consignment recently to try and look for some dining chairs, but they didn't really have anything that we really wanted. That's the, the hard thing about thrifting is that it takes time. It's much more sustainable and more economical, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of failed attempts. So if you're looking to make a home in Seattle, send me a message. Bye.